Welcome to CS Guitars, the science of loud. Today I'm tackling your tatas, the questions that at this stage you're too afraid to ask. While our keyboardist and synthesizer friends might already be very familiar with this video's topic, MIDI is utilised in a slightly different way by guitarists. We're a low-tech bunch on the whole, preferring frankly archaic technology from the 50s, like magnetic pickups and valve amplifiers. And while MIDI's been around since the early 80s, that's practically futuristic as far as we're concerned. So let's catch up on nearly 40 years of technology that we've been pretending doesn't exist. This is a MIDI controller foot switch, the MIDI Commander by Mellow Audio to be precise, and this allows the user to control both software and hardware, switching channels and presets and effects. Making use of MIDI can expand the scope of your equipment, but there's a good chance that your only knowledge of MIDI at this point are these strange connectors on the back of your amps or effects units which you actively ignore. MIDI stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface, which tells us a lot already. MIDI was originally designed for synths and keyboards to be able to interface with one another, sending digital messages between the control surface of one device and the sound engine of another. This opened a world of opportunities to have multiple control surfaces telling a single sound device what to play. To accomplish this, MIDI sends digital messages between devices, carrying information like the pitch of note, how hard the note was played, how long it was played for, and what instrument sound should be associated with that note. I have here a MIDI keyboard, a lightweight control surface that doesn't house any internal sound engine. On its own, it can't generate any sound, but when connected to software, like plugins in my DAW, then I can send digital messages from the control surface to command piano, or drums, or any other MIDI-enabled virtual instrument software that can be played back through my studio monitors. When it comes to guitars though, we utilise MIDI a little differently. While there are MIDI guitars that replace strings with digital commands that operate in a very similar fashion to the keyboard controller, these are not what I want to discuss here. We don't use MIDI to command our notes in replacement to our guitar, rather we use it as a convenient way to control our physical amps and effects or any amp simulation software we happen to be using. So rather than sending information about pitch, velocity, duration, etc, we can use MIDI to send instruction to change an amp channel, switch on an effect, or recall an entire saved preset sound. Many physical products feature MIDI functionality. My Engel Savage 120 is one such example. This is a four channel amplifier with a million different switches to fine tune your tone. Obviously, if you were to manually switch channels, you'd also have to switch all of these tone shaping buttons too, which isn't exactly practical. So Engel have very sensibly designed the amplifier to be MIDI compatible, meaning that I can connect the Melo Audio MIDI Commander using the 5 pin DIN cable, and when I've dialed in a tone that I like, I can save the set of instructions to recall that setting. Note that all the MIDI Commander is doing here is remembering a sequence of numbers and assigning it to a foot switch. When we press on that foot switch, it sends those numbers to the amplifier, which decodes the message and assigns each number to a different parameter on the amp. With this foot switch, I can have four switchable presets on the bottom row and four individual on-off commands on the top row. So for example, I could program a different preset for each of the four amplifier channels, or indeed have multiple presets for a single channel on the bottom row, and have the top row able to switch between the two master volumes, or turn the noise gate on and off, or command any individual feature of the amplifier within whatever preset is active. Alternatively, I could assign all eight foot switches to be presets if I so wanted. <laughs>
what's more, the two foot switches on the right navigate up and down different banks of presets. So it's not just four presets that this has. You can bank up to get eight, 12, 16, and so on. You get the idea. This makes MIDI the ideal tool for dealing with complex hardware in a live environment, setting up almost unlimited sound options from your amp and effects from a single stomp on a foot switch. MIDI's usefulness doesn't just end there, however. Many of us are using amp simulation software for practice or recording at home, and some brave souls are even using software while playing live. The problem here is that to change amps, effects, and settings, you need to take your hands off the guitar and use a mouse or touch a screen. This is frustrating, and if you're anything like me, it puts you off using software entirely. MIDI comes to the rescue once again, allowing your physical foot switch, which can be assigned commands to change amps and effects in software, freeing up your hands for playing and making the whole experience much more immersive. Rather than using the traditional 5-pin DIN cable, we can command MIDI over USB when using software like this. The MIDI commander actually has default modes for the likes of Positive Grid's bias effects, like I'm using here, as well as Jam Up, Axe Effects, Kemper, and the like, to cut down on the time needed to program the device to work effectively with whichever software you happen to be using. Once again, all the MIDI commander is actually doing is sending digital instruction to the software, and the software is able to change its parameters accordingly. <laughs> Different MIDI controllers exist, offering various levels of ability depending on what you want to control and the complexity of your setup. While it might not be the most advanced MIDI controller on the market, Melo Audio's MIDI Commander offers everything you need to get started your journey into MIDI control. Multiple banks, reassignable foot switches, and default setup modes make it easy to program to your liking. The unit itself is solidly made from a sturdy and substantial aluminium housing, and it powers from either two AAA batteries or a 5 volt USB power source. If you're using rechargeable batteries, then inserting the USB power source will even charge the batteries within the device. It has provision for two expression pedal inputs, so you can use this to control volume, or wah, or some other parameter if your software allows. It's also not monstrously enormous and ugly. This is a sleek, compact, well-designed unit that can be easily slipped into a gig bag for convenient transport, and it doesn't take up much floor space, meaning that the stage or your home studio remains tidy. The only downside I can see to this is that if you're looking for a more advanced MIDI controller or you've got some very specific needs, then the MIDI commander might not cut it for you. But for the vast majority of us, especially those of us who are new to MIDI and are just looking for a simple foot switch to control our amp or software, then the Mellow Audio unit has more functionality than you'll likely ever need. With a price tag that won't be a barrier to entry, which can be an issue with some of the bigger MIDI controllers, there's no reason not to experiment with MIDI if you like the concept of convenient digital control of your software and hardware alike. Links to the MIDI Commander by Melo Audio will be in the description of this video should you want to check out the price and grab one for yourself. So to recap, MIDI is an early 80s innovation which allowed musical instruments to communicate with one another, sending digital messages from controller to sound device, allowing one instrument to play another, or in the case of guitars, command complex program changes in our hardware or software. MIDI foot switches like this one are an excellent way to harness the power of MIDI to make our practice time more efficient, or using software and complicated amps more practical in a live environment. And if you've liked this video and you want to see more content from me, then you can hit that subscribe button, which will notify you of all new content as it comes out. Patreon's also there for exclusive secret stuff. T-shirts are available and there's other videos that you might not have seen. But that's all for now, guys. Keep it loud. And I'll see you later.